Okay, turning off a side uh, 29 South onto the far uh, north end of Bufford Road. This is the end of Bufford Road that was paved originally uh, back several, several years ago and has supposedly been on the schedule for resurfacing for the last two years, as we've been told. But it is, it is pockmarked with terrible potholes and there's some whole sections where the asphalt's completely gone but it's in such bad shape that it can't be uh, scraped or graded with a motor grader because there's still a little bit of asphalt left in some places. You see this spot coming up here, it's completely gone. And usually wherever the asphalt ends and the dirt stops, there's a ser serious uh, rut in the road where that transitions from either asphalt to dirt or dirt back to asphalt. We're driving approximately 15 miles an hour. You're constantly having to go from one side of the road to the other to try to avoid the ditches, the ruts, and the potholes. See the terrible, terrible condition here of what's left. You get down here in the flat area, you notice there's hardly any ditches whatsoever. And where there's no ditches, anytime we get a rain, the water goes across the road instead of down a ditch. And when it crosses the road, it's eroding out where there's no asphalt. And again, several, several deep deep potholes. Terrible transition right here. Another area here where you can see the evidence that the water crosses the road and washes it out every time it rains. More potholes where you transition back from dirt to asphalt. Short patch of asphalt, now we're back to mostly dirt. You can see the ditch. There's no ditch, it just runs across the road. Here's one of the worst spots on this end of Bufford where the water continuously crosses and washes out over half the road. So if you meet in an oncoming traffic here, you, one of you's gotta wait until the other one passes that area safely. Just beyond there is another spot, flat part in the road where every time it rains, the water crosses washes out the road. There is a pipe under the road here, but evidence suggests that it's not sufficient for the amount of water flow or it's stopped up or beavers have got it stopped up. One thing to note, We've been getting such slow response from the county when, when there is a spot that's so bad that it's either dangerous to our cars or makes it impassable for two-way traffic. The landowners have been known to come out with their own tractors and box blades, skid steers and other equipment and fix the road in spots where it gets, it gets impassable or really dangerous. Coming up on a spot here 
where there is a watershed ditch pipes under the road when the pipe was replaced under the road asphalt was cut out and not replaced so now every time it rains there are big potholes washing that unasphalted area Coming up just past this house here is the end of the original asphalt where it transitions back to the red dirt road. And there's there's no no asphalt past here. <laughs> 